is John O'Neill. I'm the son of uh, the oldest son of Ted O'Neill, who some of you may have heard of. Uh, I'm uh, I live right here in Montgomery County, Maryland, uh, not too far from where we are right now. And uh, the O'Neill family is very honored to be a part of the festivities this evening. Uh, yeah, I can, uh, from the time that I was a little boy, I can remember my dad being very immersed in his work. Um, he was dedicated to it, and uh, I just remember uh, long nights where he would uh, he, he actually leave early in the morning and come home late at night. Uh, he was always working, and he was working on what turned out to be the VISTA program. Didn't know it at the time, but I knew that he was a, a very dedicated uh, federal employee, and uh, he provided for us very well. And he was, you know, from the other standpoint, uh, you know, the side of my father that, that none of you ever had the opportunity to see, he was just, he was a loving father and a great man and was dedicated to his family and to his career. I can't really tell you too much, Tom, about, about specifically about the program that he was working on. I was only in seventh, seventh grade at the time. Uh, and I had, uh, you know, my own things to deal with, but, uh, but I can tell you that, uh, that he moved the family to Gaithersburg, you know, to begin his career at the National Bureau of Standards, which is now NIST. And, uh, and those were some of the greatest years of our lives. Uh, he was at the top of his game uh, in the prime of his career. And, you know, the O'Neill fa family recognizes that time period as being the absolute best time of our lives. I just remember that, uh, that my dad landed a very big job. Uh, he was very excited uh, that it was really, the, uh, at that point in time, uh, the position that he, that he always thought that he needed in order to, to move this system forward and uh, to get his team to be successful uh, in, in this endeavor. And uh, I just remember thinking what a, what a proud kid I was, uh, you know, to have this father who had this high-level position and uh, and he was just he was just electric at that time to know him. He was uh, on top of his game, and he was he was very um, he was very animated about everything he ever did. He just uh, that was a point in all of our lives where you know where Ted O'Neill was the man in charge, and they were they were great years to be around him. Uh, and you know did a lot did a lot of trips. He took me down to D.C. all the time and. I got to meet a lot of important people. I remember him taking me to Nancy Tomich's office when I was a teenager. Uh, you know, so as a youngster, just a great time, you know, uh, to, be, uh, to be the son of somebody who really believed so much in what he was doing. But I knew that he was involved in something that was very, very big in the, in the computer world, and he always told us that he was going to change the world. And, and I think he was successful in doing exactly that. As far as the, 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 uh, the period of time uh, when, when my dad kind of hit the wall, when, uh, when the man that we knew who was, uh, who was so rock steady and in charge of everything around him uh, began to fall apart, uh, that was a very, obviously a very tumultuous time you know, for, for our family. Um, you know, all of a sudden things weren't as, uh, as rosy as they had been, and uh, it just seemed like he was always on the defensive uh, you know, trying to uh, to save what he what he believed in, uh, and it was uh, it was I won't try to hide anything. It was very very hard thing for the O'Neill family to watch our father you know uh, fall from grace like this. Uh, but he never to his to, to his testament, he never gave up uh, all the way to the end. This was something that he was involved in, something that he believed in, and he actually believed that he was that he was going to be able to make a difference in this organization all the way up until the day that he died. Uh, but, the, but that was the battle that the O'Neill family fought uh, for, you know, ever since 1980, uh, was trying to get back into a position where he could actually make a difference uh, officially. I didn't feel like he left the legacy. He, he, was, he knew that he did make a difference in the, in the work uh, that he did. Uh, his legacy, you know, personally, of course, was his children and grandchildren, uh, and none of you are, are really familiar with that side of him. That was a wonderful side of, of my father. Uh, but he, I do believe that he did leave a legacy, Tom, uh, with, uh, with this program. Uh, he just only wishes that he could have continued to be a part of it and to, to fight the fight, because he sure felt like, you know, that he was still a part of it. Uh, I remember specific events uh, uh, centering around his dismissal at the VA. 
Uh, I remember uh, certain people that he used to mention by name, uh, and, and he didn't refer to them, you know, with any terms of endearment either. Uh, you know, so I won't mention any of those names, but he, he, uh, he definitely uh, had a lot of things to say and a lot of opinions uh, about specific individuals. And he was always, uh, he was, he was, uh, he was always a man that was was trying to get back into to make a difference. Um, but very, very difficult times for the O'Neill family. Fortunately, he taught all of us to, to be strong and to, and to fight for what we believe in. And perhaps that's you know, his greatest legacy that he left with us. I, I'd just like to say on behalf of the, the O'Neill family that, uh, that we are very honored to be here tonight uh, to be a part of, uh, of, of, uh, of the festivities that are honoring uh, my father tonight. Uh, he would have been proud uh, and uh, we're very, very glad to be a part of it. I think the last few years we weren't really a part of it uh, any longer, but uh, we always tried to convince them to, you know, to remain a part of this and to come down and participate in these things. And I just think that he was too, uh, he was just a little bit too angry, uh, you know, at what happened to him and, and potentially what happened to his work uh, because he couldn't continue with it. Um, but, uh, but we're honored to be here uh, he did pass away uh, on March 8th, so it hasn't been that long for us. Uh, and and this, is a, this is a way for us to express our gratitude to everyone, including yourself, Tom, in the organization for, you know, for this, this honor that you're about to bestow on him tonight. Thank you for that.